Okay, we're here in Toronto, afternoon before the launch of uh, the 2010 team of SpiderTech powered by Planet Energy, talking with Steve Bauer, the team director. So uh, Steve, um, tell us a little bit about the team for this year. Well, we're looking good. Uh, I think we've improved um, substantially the roster. I, I, we created some balance. Uh, we brought in some young guys that uh, like Simon Lambert uh, David Boy, Guillaume, the national champion on the road. Um, so we brought some youth, but talented youth that uh, I think we didn't have prior. Um, we're continuing on with our you know veteran guys that are established, like Frank and Ryan, and uh, of course Martin Gilbert, who he did a one 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 a wonderful stage at Missouri. So I think we've created some balance. I, I think the depth will, will come as we progress, uh, but right now I think we have a great start for 2010. Okay, now you're Continental team this year, mm -hmm. um, and that's, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's a high level team, but on the other hand, does it give you some difficulty getting into some of the bigger races because you're not pro-Continental? Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Um, I think with, with our current budget this year, which has increased since 2009, uh, we're happy for that. And of course, our, our sponsors such as Spider Tech and Planet Energy and Calus Capital and RIM, they've all, they've all stepped up, even Saputo. So we, we've increased our budget, but we're not at the Continental Pro level yet. Uh, it's a goal for 2011. Of course, we need to, to push our limits a little bit to get in races like Tour California or Tour Missouri, but uh, we've had success uh, to negotiate uh, the potential participation of, in those races. Uh, we're confident about that, and I think that uh, you know we're in the right place for now. Um, as we grow, you know, in, in budget and strength and roster or infrastructure, all those things, I think we'll be we'll be ready in 2011 if we can make it happen. Yeah. Now, I mean, I know you've um, been pushing, and and there's been a lot of people pushing on your on your behalf. I was talking to Serge Arsenal, who's who's organizing the two races in Montreal and Quebec, the two Pro Tour races, yes. about getting into races like that. Um, I mean, how does it look at this point for things like Tour California and Montreal and Quebec at the end of the season? Tour California, as we stand right here today, just before launch, we're really close. Um, I, I'm very confident we'll be in Tour California. Uh, you never know. Things could go sideways in the last minute, but I think we have a great shot. Uh, as for the Pro Tour, um, we will be there. Um, we uh, like will not be there as, a, as you know, Spider Tech Continental team. Uh, I think we'll have to work with the CCA on, uh, on a partnership to be uh, together in that race, but uh, we have an open invitation from Serge. Um, Serge is confident we'll have everyone happy uh, participating in those races. And uh, yes, the UCI, they, they don't see it our way, obviously they're a little bit slow to move, uh, make changes obviously at, at such a high level. Um, and we, we feel we deserve to be there as a Canadian team, the only Canadian team, and, and even though we're not Continental Pro, and as a strategic pro to our event, it makes a lot of sense to invite uh, our Continental team and even a national team in conjunction with that. But you see, I don't see it like that. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to up it for next year and be there in our own right. Now, there's an article in the Globe Mail today uh, talking about, about you, talking about the team. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, the, the angle they're talking about was um, you're trying to raise financing. And until Lance Armstrong um, emailed Jim Basile at RIM. Right. Uh, then all of a sudden... Well, it's an interesting angle to the story. I think, you know, the story that Jim and I were connected through Lance, that, that's true. Um, you know, Lance saw that I was using some antiquated, uh, you know, Motorola phone, which is in fact a pretty good sponsor in cycling in the day. Uh, he says, we got to hook you up with Jim. And so, so he sent an email to Jim and Jim sent me a, a Blackberry and we got to know each other. And so that was the part of this story, but not, not really the part of the impetus to start this team two years ago. Uh, yes, Jim's a sponsor now, and Blackberry's a sponsor, of course, um, but you know the impetus to start this team was all Planet Energy and, and, and Paul DeVries and Callus Capital Group forming the initial partnership. And Jim you know, wants to help, and he will continue to help this team. Uh, but I think it was a great angle. It created a lot of attention, obviously, when Jim Bolsa has written in the paper uh, in conjunction with something going on. That was that was the real cool thing is it's creating a lot of attention and, and that was the angle of the story that the, the writer wanted to, mm -hmm. to help us out in fact and, and get us some good good PR. Did you point out to uh, Jim Basili that he could uh, sponsor a Pro Tour team for one fifteenth the cost of an NHL team? No, I haven't addressed that <laughs> issue. He, he knows the fact. You know, he's uh, uh, Jim. I believe is is on the the 
the primary city would like everyone to help our cause, you know, and, and I think it's, our partnership is working really well as he's, he's part of that and Saputo and everyone else uh, that sponsors the team. So, and, and Spider Tech is taking a, a huge role this year, uh, becoming title sponsor and also in this launch that we're doing today is just a phenomenal undertaking that Spider Tech has helped us launch this team for 2010. Now, going forward, I mean, you, you talked um, a little earlier about, you know, 2011 going for Continental Pro. I mean, and then the long term is to be able to get to the point where you can be a pro tour, do the Tour de France or something. Right. How, what, what's the time frame you, you, you see for that developing? Well, obviously financial resources are critical, uh, developing the infrastructure and bringing the roster together. I think those are three things, financial, infrastructure, and roster. And I think, you know, financial is obviously the biggest one. Um, but I think on the other hand, infrastructure we can build and the roster we can build. Like right now, as, as everyone who knows Canadian Cycling knows, we have five uh, riders on the Pro Tour circuit already. Uh, we have riders in this team that can race against Pro Tour guys. We have young guys coming up that will be racing against Pro Tour guys. So I, I don't have any sort of doubt in my mind that a Canadian core roster can reach the Tour de France in several years. I, that's, I believe that uh, wholeheartedly. Okay. Just to finish um, a little closer uh, in time frame, um, what's the big goals for for this season? This season we'll, we'll kick off um, in a smooth way. We're going to go to Cuba. We hope to win some bike races down there. Um, we were going to do Telmax, but uh, we need to adjust and we'll do Dominican Republic stage race and then uh, come back to America. Redlands is on program. Uh, probably Telmax in, in April, which will be a tough race getting ready for Tour California. Um, I'm confident about the Tour of California invite, of course, so and that will be big. That will be the big spring goal. Uh, and then coming back to the traditional Tour de Beauce, uh, Philly, of course. We can win Philly. We have the roster now. We have the sprinters. We have a good, solid team that, that can be competitive there. Uh, so we're aiming to win Philly. That, that's a big goal. And um, then the fall, we're going to you know, take a little downtime after the Nationals. Uh, Europe trip, which will get the guys fit for the Pro Tour events in uh, September 10, 12, Quebec City, Montreal. Good. So that's pretty much it. And a snap. And good luck with your launch today. You're welcome. Thank you very much.